I was brought up a Protestant in the Church of England. My family went regularly to church and Sunday school was one of the few constants in my life as my father's work took us anywhere from Bath to Singapore. But 15 years ago, I went through my own personal reformation. The Church of England had abandoned its roots and its traditions and seemed immersed instead in the liberalism and political correctness of the modern world. That wasn't the church I'd been brought up in and I didn't feel I belonged there anymore. So I left and I became a Roman Catholic. I was free to make my deeply personal conversion. It opened no rift with my brother, who's still a vicar in the Church of England. But five centuries ago, it would have been very different. Back then, as the Reformation swept across Britain, I could have been beheaded as a traitor or burned alive as a heretic. For a century, the common people of England faced waves of religious change, tyranny and persecution. At the Catholic monastery of Westminster Abbey, the monks were thrown out and holy relics destroyed. Families were divided by their faith as England became an officially Protestant country. This immense upheaval was sparked by a crisis in Western Christianity. Across Europe, there were fears the medieval Catholic Church had become corrupt. There were calls for sweeping reform, even panicked claims that the end of the world was approaching. The man who brought all these hopes and fears to a head was not a king, pope or emperor, but a lowly German monk called Martin Luther. 